Hello, I'm David from David's Way to Health and Fitness. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about weight loss made easy. Uh, article I'm getting ready to write. I thought I'd do my video first this evening, but uh, you know, David's Way to Health and Fitness, we get a lot of questions about, you know, what do I got to do to lose weight? Everybody wants to know, what do I got to do to lose weight? And, uh, you know, Losing weight, it's not, it's, there's nothing difficult about what you need to do or anything like that. Um, you don't have to do anything special. And uh, really what I want you to do, you know, if you're, if, you're, uh, if you're serious about weight loss, what I, what I really want you to think about is I want you to stop thinking about what do I need to do to lose weight. And, and where I'm going with that is I don't want you to think you have to do anything special. A lot of people, they decide, I'm going to lose weight. And so, you know, one of the first things they do is they run out to the grocery store and they buy a whole bunch of food that they think is going to help them to lose weight. Stuff that they may not normally eat, you know, and, and you don't need to do that. You don't need to go out and get a bunch of diet pills. Uh, Matter of fact, I advise you against doing anything you know, uh, less than intelligent like that. You know, I'm sorry, I don't want to, to offend you. You know, but uh, diet pills, you know, those you know, that over-the-counter diet pills are just all garbage. You know, just just leave those things alone. You don't have to do no special diet. You don't have to go keto. Yes, you can lose weight on keto if you don't do keto right and you actually end up eating too many calories or if you're consuming too much protein even um, bottom line is you know keto is not some people go on to keto and, and, and they gain weight or they have they don't lose any more weight than what they do you know otherwise the, the thing that works with keto is uh, because of the amount of fat that you're eating with that diet um, you get full for the most part, before you reach as many calories as what you need to uh, maintain. Uh, but if you eat more calories than what you actually need, you ain't gonna lose weight. You know, test that theory out. You know, check it out, and uh, guarantee it. You. you know, you got you, you just got to absolutely do it right. But you know, you're doing something special there, and you don't have to do anything special. People say, well, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm going to check out the Whole30. I'm going to do Paleo. Um, I'm going to do Weight Watchers. I'm going to do Jenny Craig. I'm going to do all these different special things. And, and it just, for the love of God, please, just, just get it out of your heads that you have to do anything special. Number one, if you cannot lose weight, and I'm not talking to you uh, folks out there that may have, you know, one of the few, the one of the few true medical reasons, you know, why you can't lose weight, and uh, and why you keep gaining. But you know, those people, there, I, I know there's a lot of people that use that as an excuse for their weight. But the bottom line is, is. Uh, even you know some of the medications and stuff like that you know the, the sicknesses that will actually make you gain weight are actually not as common as what people would have you to believe so again I don't want you to go out and think man you know to lose weight I gotta do something special you know you got all these fad diets out there well I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like this I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat some I'm gonna take me some cotton balls and I'm gonna soak them down in olive oil and I'm gonna swallow them and olive oil is gonna give me fat and uh, cotton balls are gonna give me substance and, and I'll just pass them out through my waist. Uh, we actually have, I mean, as, as absurd as what that sounds, there are people that's actually done that kind of crazy thing that they thought was special. And you know, when you do stupid stuff like that, it can turn around and it can really get you sick and give you a lot of problems, especially if you start getting stuff like that, you know, all hung up in your bowels. 
uh, some people think sometimes too, it's like, oh, I got this special soup I'm going to eat. I'm going to do the cabbage soup diet. Jesus Christ. Uh, you can do this cabbage soup diet. You know, you're doing something special. You're going to you're going to lose a little bit of weight. But after the first week, I guarantee you, you're going to be sick of cabbage soup. And if you do it for more than that, if you do it for two or three weeks, number one, you stand a risk of uh, jeopardizing your health. But you're going to be so sick of cabbage soup that you ain't never going to eat it. Just you'll 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 turn your nose down to cabbage soup for the rest of your life. You know. Those, those types of things are not sustainable. Lots of people, they go in, I'm going to do all these special things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get on Weight Watchers. I'm going to get on this plan. I'm going to get on that plan. I'm going to try that other plan. i got to be doing something. You don't have to do that. I'm going to make weight loss real simple for you here. And you may not like what you want to hear. Number one, you got to adopt a lifestyle that revolves around healthy nutrition. Don't think about, you know, oh, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to go on a temporary diet, you know. No, you got to get it wrapped around your mind that if you're going to lose weight, you're going to do it in a healthy manner and you want to keep that weight off, you got to make a lifestyle change. The next thing is going to ruffle some feathers. If you can't lose weight, the bottom line is you're eating too much. You can't, you know, unless you have one of those special medical conditions. Uh, I've been, I've, I've been down with the back injury. I've been on, on uh, some steroid injections to my, uh, to my spine. I've, uh, I've been on different uh, uh, prednisone a couple different times. You know. Uh, medical treatments that are known to make you gain weight and uh, I've retained a little bit of water but I haven't gained any body fat you know and and to do that I had to re I had to reduce how many calories I was eating because before I was working really hard at a, at a f very physical job and I work out like crazy I haven't been able to do that so if I continued eating the way I did I'd probably be as big as barn right now so I had to modify my life and, and really I didn't do anything special. I just had to cut back. So some of the foods that I ate, I reduced my portion sizes. There's a couple things that I just completely cut out of my diet just because it was just extra stuff that I was doing before. It was all help the extra stuff, everything's always been healthy food, so um, but if you can't lose weight, you're you're eating you may think, well, I really don't eat that much. I only eat one time a day. You're eating more calories than what your body burns if you can't lose weight. This is science. It's the basic law of thermodynamics. You have to cut back on how many calories you eat. So then you might think, well, you know, man, if I cut back on the amount of calories I eat, I'm probably going to be hungry all the time because I'm hungry all the time as it is. So let's go over and get into the next simple thing here. If you eat whole healthy foods, foods that are not laden with all kinds of added sugars, unhealthy fats, too much sodium, and preservatives, you know, that are, that are meant to uh, keep meat edible, you know, for five or six years or whatever, you know, the manufacturer chooses to stick on there. Uh, you got you just you got to get away from that stuff. Once again, you're not doing something. You just need to quit eating sugar and processed foods. Make sure that the foods that you eat are whole, healthy foods. I'm not going to tell you, oh, you got to eat this and you got to eat that. I'm just going to tell you what not to eat. Don't eat foods with added sugars. Don't eat processed foods. If you do eat processed foods, keep them to a very bare minimum. Make sure that 
you look over the ingredient list and make sure that there's not too many ingredients in there. There's no added sugars and a bunch of bad stuff. And, and just try to, whatever you do eat, make it be minimally processed. And one of the things you got to understand is when you start eating whole healthy foods, uh, unless you're exercising like crazy, it's actually kind of difficult to eat as many calories as what you uh, may need in a day uh, to you know, maintain your weight. So uh, with that being said, you know, you're going to start losing weight. And uh, you, need to, you need to track how much you eat. And I know that there's people out there that say, well, uh, you know, Weight Watchers, they don't make you track your calories. Well, that's true. But, you know, you, you might go to their uh, social media and discover that a large percent of their people on there that only track points and don't track calories have a difficult time with uh, losing weight and then keeping it off. So, you know, you can get on a, uh, you can get on an app like MyFitnessPal and use that. You know, it's, it's real easy. It don't, it don't take you any kind of time to uh, track your food because the main point with this is if you don't track your food, you really, you don't know, there's no accountability. You don't know how much you're actually eating. You know, you could be eating far more than what you think you are. So, you know, track your food. That's nothing special. Look, when I go into my kitchen and make myself something to eat, I have a food scale that's on my counter all the time, a little digital food scale. I know that if I go in there, if I, if I remove a piece of meat from a package and I'm going to put it uh, in my air fryer or in a skillet or whatever to saute, I can, I can lay that down on my food scale, get a quick reading on it. I know how, you know, I know how much, you know, steak I might have ate, you know. I know that I might have had four, five, six ounces or maybe even less depending on what I'm eating. It don't take but just a second. Uh, the same thing's true, you know, fixing a bowl of oatmeal in the morning. Uh, and I'm just using that as an example, but you can you can apply it to anything. Now, how long does it possibly take out of your day to simply measure out what you're going to eat? Uh, I measure out a half cup of oatmeal. To that half cup, I got three different kinds of seeds, and I'll use one tablespoon of each when I make it. So. I got a tablespoon of chia seeds, I got a tablespoon of flax seeds, a tablespoon of sunflower seeds, and it's a tablespoon of pepitas or, or pumpkin seeds. It ain't no big deal. I just use that tablespoon, I measure, you know, level it out, I stick it in the bowl, I'm gonna put my hot oatmeal in. Uh, I'll pour some syrup into that measuring cup that I've used uh, for the water for my oats and, and my oats. I'll measure out one quarter cup, big deal, you know, and then pour it on, on top of my food. And it, it's no big deal. I got serving bowls for vegetables. I got little serving bowls that hold, uh, some of them hold three-fourths of a cup, and some of them hold an entire uh, full cup of food. And I, I believe my wife's probably got some up there that actually hold a cup or a half cup also. So, you know, if I, if, I load, if I load that one cup bowl up with, uh, with frozen peas after I've, you know, cooked them, I didn't have to do anything special. I was going to put them on my plate or in a bowl anyway, so, uh, you know, I didn't have to weigh it or anything. I know that when I fill that bowl up, I got one cup of peas. Or it could be one cup of corn. It could be a cup of green beans sauteed uh, mushrooms, whatever, you know, whatever you want. It's easy. But you really you need to track what you, you need to track what you're consuming uh, in order to be accountable for yourself and you just need to make it into a lifestyle choice. Weight, weight loss is not rocket science. It's simple. That's why I say you don't have to do anything special. And I'm not saying weight loss is exactly easy. And the point I want to make on that is when it comes to losing weight, if you've been overweight, I know I've been there with this. 
we have carb addictions. You know, we, we actually get addicted to uh, simple sugars, you know, your table sugar and stuff. And uh, that addiction to those carbohydrates is almost identical to the addiction you have to alcohol. Fructose is in that sugar, it goes straight to your liver. Just like alcohol, it goes straight to your liver. Okay? You know, you need, you need to knock all that stuff out. And uh, it's not hard in concept. But for the first couple of weeks, you're going to go crazy by not eating that sugar. And you really just got to get your mind wrapped around, you know, if you've had problems with it, with carbohydrates, you got to get your mind wrapped around. You just can't eat them foods anymore. That addiction, it's just like if somebody quit smoking cigarettes, you're not going to turn around and say, hey, man, why don't you have a puff off this cigarette? Because you know if you give them a puff off that cigarette, they're going to start smoking again. If you got an alcoholic in your life, are you going to turn around to this alcoholic and say, here, man, you know, there's just this one glass of wine on this special occasion. It's not going to hurt anything. Or, hey, man, you know, come on, you know, drink this. Join us in a cold beer, you know. We're, we're, we're getting ready to have a toast, you know. Uh, those things are wrong. Because some people, when you do that, you can give that one beer, and next thing you know, they might be drunk for the rest of the weekend. They might be drunk for the rest of the month, maybe even the next couple months. It's the same with, with the uh, addiction to carbs, simple carbs. You know, uh, one piece of birthday cake will completely derail me because as soon as I eat that, I'm going to crave it. I'm going to crave sugar. If I eat a couple Oreo cookies and think, oh man, my wife used to be bad about this one. Oh, you've been doing so good with your weight. I baked you a chocolate cake. I can't eat chocolate cake. If I eat one piece of that chocolate cake, I'm going to eat about half that thing before the day's over with. Okay? And there's many of you out there that will do the same thing. You can't deny it. And it gets even more absurd when you're, you're sneaking food and you're, and you're hiding what you eat. Carbohydrates will do that to you. It'll make you a fiend. You know, I know it's not uncommon, and I've done this before too, you know, get you a can of Nutella, and you start eating that stuff right out of the can, that's just like eating cake frosting. If you get to eating Nutella straight out of the can, and you got a can of frosting in the refrigerator or the pantry, you might end up eating frosting right out of the can. There's people that do it. We've talked to plenty of people over the years. I might have done it a time or two myself. Matter of fact, I've been one in the past to take Nutella and spread it on Oreos. Man, you know, what a sugar rush. So, that's the biggest thing we tell you. It's, it's not a matter, you got to do any kind of special diet or anything. You just got to get these unhealthy things out of your life. Uh, smoking cigarettes ain't good for you. Drinking alcohol is not good for you. Eating foods with added sugars and unhealthy fats and too much sodium and uh, preservatives and stuff is bad for your body. A lot of this stuff causes inflation in your, inflation in your body, that inflation. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied, getting over myself here. Sometimes that infl inflation in your body turns around and creates other problems in your body. Metabolic syndrome, coronary artery disease, type 2 diabetes some cancers and stuff. That stuff's all bad for you, so I say you ain't gotta do anything special. You need to make a lifestyle change. You need to commit to getting them unhealthy foods out of your life. It's not really a big deal. You ain't you ain't doing anything special. You just gotta to commit to yourself. And it's gotta be a lifetime commitment. You can't just say, well, I'm going to do a little of this, I'm going to do a little of that, and, you know, in a couple months, you know, I'll be able to eat like I want to. You know, we're sitting here right now, it's April 9th, you know, bathing suit weather's coming up for a lot of the ladies out there. i got news for you. You've got a weight problem today, and you don't think you're going to look good in a bathing suit or a bikini, uh, and, and, and you want to get ready for that this summer, 
if you got more than a little bit of weight to lose, I'm telling you right now, you don't miss the boat for this summer. You need to be working on next summer. You know, especially if you got any, you know, 20 to, you know, sky's the limit on any kind of weight over that. Uh, I don't want you to try to lose weight too fast. You want to do it in a healthy, sustainable manner. You don't want to lose more than one or two pounds a week. Try not to do more than two pounds a week, you know, for your initial weight loss. And then when it starts tapering off, you know, slow it down to one pound per week. That's more sustainable. You won't lose as much lean muscle mass, which, which you need to keep your, meta your metabolism uh, higher than what it would be if you're losing that lean muscle mass. You don't want to slow your metabolism down while you're losing weight. And uh, like I say, there is, there's nothing special. You want to try to move your body and exercise as much as you can. Make sure you always get your doctor's permission before you do so. I don't want you to uh, jump on a bicycle or go out, you know, trying to run or anything like that. And find out you got a heart condition you weren't aware of. If you was overweight, there's a good chance you could have it. You know, you could have, you know, something with your arteries. Uh, you may have a blood pressure problem. Any a number of things. So always, you know, make sure you get yourself checked out before starting an exercise program. And uh, lastly, on getting checked out by a doctor. Before you begin any kind of diet program or uh, a lifestyle change towards your nutrition, including what I recommend to you, okay, get it cleared through your doctor. You go to your doctor and say, look, I'm going to try out this guy's plan on David's way to health and fitness. I want to know what you think about this. And here's what David's telling me, and Brenda Sue also, we don't want to forget her because she's She's just as active in a part, a part of this uh, website and now our, our YouTube channel as I am. We're, we're equal partners here. We've uh, authored over 1,200 articles. Go to your doctor and say, hey doc, listen, I got this guy out here telling me that, you know, I need to cut back on my calories and I need to quit eating all these junk foods and foods with added sugars and uh, 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 processed foods that have all kinds of unhealthy stuff in it, you know. What do you think about all this? You know, what do you think about, you know, making sure I don't eat too much and that I damn sure don't eat any of the, you know, any of the, the wrong foods? Go get it cleared. Go in there. You can print out our plan. It's it's like the second item in our menu items uh, on our homepage. You just go there, click on the David's Way to Health and Fitness Plan. Print that up. Take it to your doctor. Say, here, doc, check this out before I start. I don't think you'll find a doctor in the world that tell you that's bad. Now, uh, the only caveat to that would be, Brenda Sue and I, we do not, uh, we do not do uh, health diets. I'm not going to give you a renal diet. But we, we, we don't give diets to begin with. But if you got, if you got, uh, if you're, if you're already got diabetes, type two diabetic, the way we eat is diabetic friendly. But I don't want you to do anything that your doctor has told you not to do. You know, to eat, you know, the diet that they want you to eat for your diabetes, renal diet, heart, all that. We we don't do, we don't do medical diets. We, we try to help people out with healthy weight loss before they ever get to that point. So, once again, you know, weight loss, it's not a, it's not a difficult concept. You don't have to do anything special. Uh, matter of fact, you, don't, you also don't have to pay anything if you follow us. You know, uh, Brenda Sue and I, we've been building the, our website, now this YouTube channel, and uh, it's been my pledge from day one that we'll never charge anybody help them to lose weight. Uh, your health is too important. You know, I'm not going to do like some of these paid, uh, these corporate weight loss businesses to where, you know, you have to make a choice sometime between maybe paying 40 bucks to get your information and your support and all that. And if you can't, you know, you, if you have to choose between paying your $40 for your fee or uh, pay an electric bill or put some groceries on your table, that's, that's too important, you know. Uh, we don't want you to have to make that choice ever.
you know, we have a, we have a desire for you to, to lose weight and be healthy. Uh, it's our mission. This is a labor of love. We're not, we're not trying to make a bunch of money off of anybody. You know, your health is more important to me than a profit. But, uh, you know, that being said, I'm going to close this out. Um, we do appreciate any kind of donations a person might want to make to our, uh, to our PayPal account. You know, if you can see it in your heart, I mean, we have overhead costs with, you know, keeping the website up and running. You know, if you want to make a donation, that's good. It's more appreciated. If you don't want to make a donation, that's fine, too. You know, I'm not going to charge anything, you know, to follow us. We've also, uh, we have uh, written a book. We have an ebook for sale. It's for sale on our website. We're not on Kindle yet or Amazon. But it's an ebook that you can download uh, from the website. It's $4.99. Uh, that's not that much. What that does is by the sales of our ebook, it helps us to uh, keep our cost down in order we can keep the uh, website and the uh, YouTube channel free to everybody. You know, we don't ever want to have to charge. We're not going to charge. Uh, it's just not going to happen. So, uh, I'll be writing a really good article that this video is going to be attached to. So, uh, I really hope you uh, enjoy the article. Uh, we welcome comments and questions. You know, if you if you got anything, if you want if you want to do it publicly in the comments, that's fine. Uh, if you want. Uh, if you want, you can just always give us some feedback, and uh, and that's private. You know, if you got a question or whatever, and we can answer, uh, you know, we're going to answer your question. We answer everybody. If we can't come up with an answer for you right away, we'll find an answer. We don't charge anybody for that, you know. Uh, but you you can you can address certain things without you know you know if you want to keep your privacy you know important. You know, we don't we don't indulge indulge that kind of uh, information to anybody. We respect all uh, privacy laws in accordance with uh, HIPAA. So, anyhow, I'm gonna close this out. I uh, hope you got something out of the video. That you know, weight loss really you don't have to do anything special. It's pretty simple in concept. Check out the article this is going to be attached to, and uh, by all means, you know, peruse through our website. There's over 1,200 articles and healthy recipes there for you to enjoy. Y'all be blessed now. I'm out.